Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Top Esports and BLG during the Grand Finals of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Now without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Light as a player occasionally does take very hard trades in mid lane just to secure that push, but it means he's occasionally um, aware of ganks coming through. Now, Shun on the bot side, he's walking in, he can at least drop saplings, he has a ward to put down as well. Realistically, how much can they go towards? Topius was not we need to be afraid of a dive here. They've got a pretty big wave here. Alright, here we go. First blood on the table here. BLG trying to execute. They do have the juggle going. Oh, Jackie Love gets out, but no. First blood goes over to Elk and it is traded right back. Okay, the root lands onto the tree. Ain't that apparent and uh, topical for this one. Jack bot lane, you expect to be able to stick around and maintain pressure. Not to be the case. Fiego's gonna get himself the first dragon of the game for the Senna. Senna typically is not a champion, which has a lot of dragon priority. The top esports, they take the opportunity when it's given to them. And it's BLG who get themselves all three of those grubs on the top side. But if you give over six, that is a big, big problem. BLG, not gonna be first to the play, but they will be there in force. 369's like, oh, that's not the corner I wanna walk into. Okay, BLG moving in. 369 gonna slice and dice his way out. Don't miss his pop. Tidal wave coming through. I don't think he has a way of getting out of that one. He's healing so much. He gets out with the devour. There's the invade by Tien, too. He gets the kill to Shun. They are in the pit. The grubbies aren't even the focus anymore. He gets one back, and now Tien has hit those resets. He's looking for more. He flashes out of that Q sweet spot. Bin's gonna go down too. That seismic shove is not enough, and BLG, they try to fight, but they can't keep the fight going. Oh, Top Esports, wonderful response to BLG. Uh, not quite landing their engage, engage in the right way. With that first item spike, so BLG choose to cross map instead. They did return to that Herald earlier. They picked up an objective. Gonna get some gold on tonight. Knight in their last series wasn't necessarily the main character of the five game win that um, BLG had, but on the Talia, getting BLG have really become specialized towards the Top Esports. Need to be very careful now that BLG is starting to get more proactive. They're actually gonna try to move on this top side. Knight's gonna burn his flash soon, trying to tank it up though there's a lot of damage from those rocks 369 is gonna go right back in here comes ben he's able to join the fight here but is it too little too late 369 not able to get the close down on soon and he just goes down to night oh, on tn tries to make something happen but they can't get the reset they're yeah. so lethal when you give them angles into a game very close to gold l jumping forward again has himself that calling if he wants to pull it top esports need to be very very careful with the three item lucian dragon in five top esports getting Hold to the back there. Jackie Love not having any help left. Oh my god, Elk is going forward. He is going to get the Dawning Shadow back and a ton of damage in his backside too. That is going to be the Dragon started up by Top Esports. Okay, Top Esports get themselves into River and huge chunk back onto Elk makes this fight even again. BLG, they have the flank though, Bin. Again, he has the flanking build. The bin flank could be the world ender here. Here comes the Weaver's wall across. Shun is in the pit. Shun gets it. He denies the soul. The Devourer gonna save out Kreen yet again. They have a front to back that looks really good for Top Esport from here. Bin can't get out of the back of the pit just yet. Finally dashes over. And where these guys are gonna have such an influence, it's rightfully so that it's been in three situations. You know, these players, they've not necessarily been the focus of the Oh my god, this is. Dude. Oh my god, well I said that's the combo they wanted to do and they definitely did it. That's a dash forward from Elk and not the shot gonna land, but that is bread and butter what they want to do. Three and one now, almost on four items on the Lucian. We said that this can be a big carry for BLG and he is. Okay, so we got ourselves 20 seconds in the chill dragon, but Top Esports have elected to not put any vision towards bot side of the map. Well, they've been pushing on the bot side anyway for the last few minutes. Not like they've had themselves that option, but here goes Shun. Okay, Shun going in. The Bramble Smash not used yet. Elk getting some damage out, but look, 369's on Elk now, and everybody's found the connection even with that twisted advance there by Tien. And so they do find the fight. Now they'll move to the Baron. Doesn't matter that they're on Soul Point. They go towards top side instead and take two huge kills. Top Esports, this should be the Baron. What hero plays have we got left from BLG? And try to get in. Shun is not there for the steal, but a lot of damage can be done. We root wall used already. Throw some of those rocks. Top Esports just going to commit to it right now. Ben is on the other angle here. About 4,000 on the Baron now. We're getting low as it should just go down. Top Esports going to pull away from it. They do end up securing the objective. Nice seismic shove there. Q sweet spots. Bin trying to fight back, but nice and first defied from Cream. They do end up fighting one back onto him, but it's Jackie Love who's going to come up clutch on the other end of it. Bin on the other side, though, trying to go with Jackie Love. Bin. Oh my god, Bin! You monster! He doesn't find Jackie Love, though, as he does with that Q sweet spot. It's not going to be enough. 
such a frantic Baron. Have we got any other place to look towards? Well, the big thing is now top esports have been uh, maybe has a couple of twists left back and forth. Jackie Love survives with the Baron buff. Important for him means that he'll have one lane of pressure at least. Bin sticking in that fight is insane. The man is a boxing legend. You start to see some of the reasons why Jack looks so famed for his setup. He's had a couple of highlight plays from this playoffs already. They're continuing to push forwards with the Baron Buff LG. They can't really flank in the way that they want to. They're looking for combos. They're not cleanly finding them right now. Shun, can you throw an ult across? Okay, go for it just yet. Turret getting low. Okay, we got a 1v1 between Ben and 369. Oh, 369's got that all day! Come to the king and you better not miss 369 with a solo. Oh, and he ults in with that Dominus, he gets himself a very important solo kill. It felt like BLG were maybe looking for a big play in the mid lane fight and get themselves into the front to back position. No flanks available just yet. All right, Tian is here. There's the Weaver's Wall to block off the Dragon. They need to try to burn this before they can get it, but Tian's right on the other side of the wall. The Weaver's Wall goes down. Top Esports right back to the fight. Bin is looking on the angle here on the other side, but can't get anything over. Dragon is just gonna be secured by Top Esports. The fight after though, on, oh, get chunked. And here comes Jackie Love. He flashes forward. Bin can't find the angle on the other side. He does go in. Oh. He gets the flash too. And now BLG can find the fight. Big seismic shove there as well. They're going all the way in. Kring uses the first to buy, but they can't get Shun. Nature's Grass coming back, but look at Tien the whole time. Reset City was approached, and it is a tussle to be loved by BLG and Top Esports. Sports. Top Esports walk away with the soul, but BLG walk away with more. Of course, at the end of it, Knight really ends up picking up the damage that they need, and they go towards the Baron now. And now BLG are the ones to stake their step forward. The Baron are getting burned. Can Tien get over the wall and steal it? Is this the difference maker? He's in there, and he does not get it. He will not die after as the Devourer comes in. Last second clutch. BLG get away with the big purple worm. Okay. It was the Tidal Wave, the Nature's Grass, plus the Weaver's Wall. See particularly that Mark Elk. Oh my just god, Elk nice. is just stepping up into all four members of Top Esports and being rewarded for it. Tidal Wave on top of it, Nature's Grass, everything, and Mako's already gone. Kareem gonna join him soon. He can't get the Queen Sweet spot though, but that is a huge siege on bot side inner turret. How do you defend a siege against these ultimates? Well, the answer is you don't, apparently, for Top Esports. It's gonna be multiple synced waves heading into the base at once. The Baron no Buck is way. massively turning the screws into Top Esports base. Top Esports came in with a different strategy. They got that undefeated center for Jackie Love. They wanted to take the scaling. Now they gotta fight their way out of this one. 369, he's on the back line here. He does have a little bit of damage to be done, but the rest of BLG pulling away very nicely. And I think we've seen this they have managed to survive just about over to the Elder. They're teleporting in. This is their moment if it is going to happen. Try to find resets for Tien. Keep Jackie Love peeled for and try to take a front to back. Oh, he doesn't really have a way out, so they're just going to go right back in. Culling is used. There's the Emperor's Divide. 369 has found the back line, but he has been right on him, and they're going to try to take him out. That is already shooting down, so the Elder Dragon is up with no jungler from BLG. 369 has teleport. Big thing here means that he can teleport back in after having his HP bar shredded. And yes, the smite being down means that BLG, they can't go for a 50-50. They'd have to look for a fight. Top Esports, they had to survive the, the wave they so far. They have TPs. They have TPs. If they commit to the Elder Dragon, they could try to end the game. Game five was ended by a TP backdoor around an Elder. Can we see it again? Game one of the finals. Game one. <laughs> they actually found an angle here. Elk is so confident on this Lucian. He has stepped up every single time. And you can see that right now, BLG, they lose their jungler, but they can just keep threatening the fact that Kareem doesn't have teleport. Now it's top esports being bullied out on the bot side of the map, despite the fact they got the kill on the jungler. It's back to the Elder we go, potentially. And Shun's gonna be up soon if they can delay the fight. 369 getting caught inside. They have rest in top esports. BLG, you have to commit to this and get out or you are done for as they are getting completely collapsed on. Elk is the one they try to engage on. He puts damage right back into Mako as Bin has now found the flank angle yet again. Can't find that Q sweet spot in the end. BLG will back away, but they bought enough time for Shun to come out towards this Elder. Oh my gosh, the mind games and the vision control, the player on teleport is all making sure this fight towards the bot side is so slow. Elder started again. We have Shun coming up the side. All right, we got five on five, a decider for this game number one. Elder does reset, 369 trying to get on the other angle here. Tien was looking for a potential flank, but realizes he needs to be in the pit. Bin doesn't have World Ender, but he has a flank position. What can he find? He's spotted out by Mako. He's not gonna be shut down just yet. Wave slowly pushing into top of Esports, and the Elder's going down. 
be really careful. There's the nature's grass. Are they going to use the tidal wave? It's grass. Oh my god, they got Mako. BALT, they're moving forward. 369 has found Elk, though. And maybe they get the damage there as now. Oh, it burst divide. Not going to hit anybody there. Elder is getting low. 369 on the other side, but he can't keep it going. And Ben has made the difference. Tien, is he going to do it? No, he gets shut down by Elk with a couple double taps. And Jackie Love getting chased down by the wings of the world ender as Ben comes up clutch. BLG come up clutch and they'll look for a game one victory. They only needed one corpse for a reset, but they end up giving and donating five corpses to BLG. They fall in game one. This was a boxing match for a game one. It was not one-sided whatsoever. And this is a five-game series I can get behind. We walk away after game one in the, game, in the grand finals. These teams have played six games against each other. Three times in yep, a row, right? Yep. But I really love the adaptation with the Orn towards the boss of the map. A lot of non-committal engage coming in from the side of BLG. And honestly, it's going to be a team fight fest. Absolutely. And we're so looking forward to it as we're ready to head into the second game of the series. This early side skirmish. BLG, they need to get something back for Shun, but this is dangerous now. They could go for the flash over wall, but going to get that ward in. See that they're taking the red buff. They're going to push them out so Tien can't get the smite steal. Oh, double knock up from on that's huge and now tn he has to go for the one the first blood to shun and ts are left tattered oh and they lose the red buff they lose their jungler's life after a great so, um how do we recap all of what's happening here we're starting to get plates going down towards boss side and some hook that could be a kill that is it looks like it they're gonna try to carry back on a mako nice double knock up jackie love he takes the extra tower shot but they do get the kill evening it up one to one i gotta say so we were just talking about oh tn mid lane He's trying to find an angle here. Knight's gonna burn his flash. So Flash is just getting burned all over the place as Pot side down. Elk. Elk. No way. Yes, no flash. No way. One more auto attack and Elk gets him right back. I guess, you know, uh, we're just freestyling it now. Is there structure that. Range champion to get some tap damage, get some souls from other minion waves. And, uh, you can see how valuable that can be for kind of like controlling the top side of the map. Problem is, Jackie Love is getting a lot of gold from this, and there's a dive, so there's no one oh, to help Oh, yeah, On is just going to walk out to his death. Tian going to take that one easy peasy. Top Esau, honestly, really well played for them to just say, look, you can move the center away. Yorn's going to die. That's twice that's happened now, once in a two. You can get in the early game. That's another story left to it. We're going to take a look at mid lane, though, but I do also want to talk a little bit more about the adaptation from oh, BLG. Again. <laughs> oh, no. no. He will be spotted out there. He's going to try to use the Unstoppable, but he is locked down from the hell there. There's the Orn Horn. He's going to flash out, not use it. Does end up getting out with his dash. Huge stuff. He still ends up losing his flash oh. in his hole. Can 369 lift? He doesn't have Dominus. Anything you can do, we can do better. BLG execute the juggle and take even more on top side. So 369 is this time visited by uh, the roaming gank squad. And uh, BLG is a little bit in between trouble, but uh, does he have finding with the help? Uh, 369 rather. Cream Ooh. flashes, gets the fear off. Donnie Shadow and should get the kill. Oh my goodness. The dominoes are starting to fall for top esports. I mean, what do we say? Horror Survival League of Legends. You walk into the dark <laughs> and you don't come back out. Cream blows the flash. Knight gets this mid lane, uh, this bot lane out of turret. This is when BLG tend to accelerate. As soon as you get these out of turrets down, it feels like BLG just become a different kind of beast. And yeah, it really does change the genre of the game it feels like after that point shun three and oh on this uh wukong as well really big moment for him and i'm gonna take yeah this map changes the way you play the game <laughs> it's fun stuff that um see tian what's he ah uh, tian uh, he's all by himself he does have the rest of the team coming okay so bin is gonna tell the team into the fight here at least and so is a uh, knight they already take down tian though he went so ham and went way too Four. Jackie Love, he gets flashed up by Bid, and he has to flash his way out. Top Esports are left again in the dirt. I really don't understand the angle from Tien that you... G and already about quarter health down. 269 is going to move in. He's not looking for a flank. They're looking for a front to back here. Knight was trying to find an angle. He does have Emperor's Divide available. And shifting sands his way over the wall. Dragon getting so low. Here comes the Ornhorn, and the dragon was secured by 369. They actually find a big engage right back onto him, and Emperor's Divide comes out from Knight, and now it's just like fish in a barrel, and you just gotta aim down those shotgun iron sights and take them out one by little one. 
BLG move their knight into flanking position and put top esports in check. Cream, is he going to survive? No way. No, he is not just quite. I think he's going to get chased he's down got here. got the speed. Okay. okay. Oh, Shun's going the long con here. <laughs> he wants to take him out. He wants to so Cream that this may be his first finals, but he will not come away a victor yet as he is all alone. Under Tower is going to try to get the back off, but Shun is there. The fear coming out, though, and the rest of the team is there to knock him down. BLG, they win so back to back record breaking splits for BLG. This is second finals for the organization. Now, here comes the re engage from the Ornhorn. Baron getting a little low. Kin Tian getting the pit. He does not. It is secured by Elk of all people. And a mad Elk has just come to play. They get the Dawning Shadow across the Emperor's Divide. TS are stuck at the wall and they can't do anything about it. Ben has found the angles, and TS are left with nothing. LG are not playing games here. They've just jumped up another 2K. They have a huge Baron buff to continue to push with. They're going to TP in on the front side. Oh, Knight gets feared. He's still under turret here. Okay, finally gets out from under there. As Ben with that TP makes the difference. They do end up getting it with Elk's range. Oh my god, they're just between the turrets here, Nymera. This is unfair. There is no safe place for top esports. They continually dove, and BLG are showing no mercy. Teleport onto the minion. Keep teleporting, keep going. That carousel does not stop turning and the death keeps coming one by one. Elk finds another one and the inhib turret now in the eyes of BLG. And this game has just gone from zero to 100 so, so quickly. A couple of fights back to back and BLG have just not looked back. Another couple thousand gold. It's gonna continue piling on over 10,000 now, moving up to 12,000 gold BLG. Lasting damage done to Top Esports base. And now Top Esports trying to get one more fight, but I don't think it's a fight you wanted. Mako's already gone, and the rest of Top Esports are left with everything to defend. As they have a nice little angle. Oh my god, Knight with a huge Emperor's Divide. And that's 369 just watching as his base crumbles. There was so much trash talk between these teams. Top Esports wanting to take this one holistically, but BLG, they rear their beastly head and they'll move up to match point. BLG in only their second finals ever as an organization are really coming if they can get in towards this bot side. BLG bot side 3v3s have been what have put them into this position as favorites of LPL. Elk and On have taken two stalwart names in the LPL, two games in a row. Jackie Love and Mako have not been the difference maker. Respectfully, as Tien gets a buff steal away. So they are going to go for the invade here. I want to talk a little bit of how these uh, skirmishes can lead out to victories. Oh, it's Shun that gets it, I believe. No, it actually is Tien. They're going to get the flash from on. They're moving out and they're moving in. That's Shun with first blood for BLG. BLG strike up. Top Esports have been losing out on them. So let's talk a little bit about the way that they can approach this one. Jackie Love and Mako trying to get the kill on bot side. Can he cash in? One more, and there he goes. He gets the cash in there, but Elk wants to chase him down. Gets one right back for him. And now it's Supportal Combat versus an actual ADC. Both of them will back away. You got four Halo Blades in that bot side. And that's how much early damage comes through. It's something. It's a kill. It's nice. Probably yeah, not just yet. He's uh, Well, what he ends up doing is um, pushing in towards the enemy jungle and forcing Tien back. He'll be able to get it if he wants to at that same point. We might as well take those extra. Ooh, the slowdown. On. The slowdown's so big. On can't get away from this one. In one auto, Jackie Love comes up big. He is now 2-1. Oh my gosh, this bot lane are not ready to give up. And it's suddenly again the Halo Blades. Do you have the level 6 coming in from Shun? This is very dangerous because you can go Vile into Varasol into Death. You need to be so careful here, Top. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is not available. There's a two level difference between Mako and Jackie Love. He's going to use the Whirling Death to try to get the wave there. There's a cease and desist onto Jackie Love. They know who they need and they get him with a piercing arrow straight through the heart. And even though no the way. 2v2s no were way. Be They're going to get him. The fates call in. One more auto. It's another piercing arrow. And BLG come away aces on bot side. What I love, the contrast between these two bot lanes. We have Jackie Love and Mako, some of the most oh known God. names. And we'll get back to that conversation. The end's trying to get on a top side gank. Ben's just going to burn his flash there. Does get the shattering strike there on the back end. Magnus Storm 2. The knock up there from 369. Is he going to be able to make it out? He does still have his health bar. The overheat's coming up. They want to dive for this one, but he's trying to get around. They go under turret, and the juggle is complete. Top Esports with a little bit of an act of their own.
It's something in top side at least. It takes a flash from 369, but bot side is potentially going to be down. So again, here comes Shun. Yeah, he's going over the wall. Does not hit the vault breaker there. Mako trying to burn something in the pit here to get some help from Jackie Love on the other side, but just going to give a kill over to Elk. And it's a clean kill on bot side. You know, top East Force, they show on top side. Tien goes towards top, then there's a dive on bot side. He gets this dragon now. See if Shun has anything to say to it, though. There is a Vi ultimate. He's had the better of Tien so far, at least, and other members have had the better of the objectives. He's in there. No, he's not going to get it. He's not going to use that Vault Breaker for it. Elk and on in a little bit of trouble. Magnusorb. Oh, they found the Cease and Assist. That's the Sky's Descent as well. Jackie Love still alive. Going to pop that Whirling Death. And now it's Shun who has the Flash. There's the Equalizer in. Ben on the wrong side of the fight, but maybe they will turn back around. Here comes that Breath of Light, and the Breath is cooking top Beast Fords. It's about to be a full-on ace. Oh, my goodness. It is been in the rest of this point. He has been in the league since 2018. And now we get a fight here over on all by himself. And he'll go down. It's something back for Top East. So the thing is, though, it feels like a bit of a consolation prize at this point. They've gotten themselves, you know, a couple of odd kills here and there, but it hasn't been decisive. You know, they've gotten themselves the Dragon. That's good. That's a genuine win for them. If they get themselves the Herald, that's big too. In game one, we had Top Beast Wars hitting 9,000 kills as a historical organization within LPL. We have a lot of milestones here today. Yeah, 8,000 now hit by BLG as well. Only their second finals as an organization would be their first victory as a side lane turret. Killing a support is good. It means that you take away some wards, but it's not necessarily the game changing play that you want. 369 caught out just a little bit. Oh, committed. they're bringing over Elk as well. Equalizer from Ben across the top. He gets denied. He's going to have to burn the flash out there. Love on the other side gets Chains of Corruption, and the engage is coming through. Look at Ben. He's going to flash with the Flame Spinner. Jackie Love got to get out of there, bud. 369 is all by himself. One Hail of Arrows doesn't do it. Nobody's going to go down as BLG. Ben takes an extra tower shot. He goes down now as well. Now Tien back from the grave and back ready to fight for top esports. Shun gonna go down too with a chash in of Jackie Love. There's your decisive victory. It's kind of handed to them a little bit. Because he is that bridge damage over to Cream. We did get that uh, Leandri second item completed for night now. We get the engage on mid lane. Look how much damage he does. Fates call use. Oh, the enchant across the arrow across the map. The snipe comes down and another one goes over to top. Top Esports again, not ready to roll over. They're 0-2 down, but they do not want to see things end here. I think BLG, they've um, kind of lost control a little bit. They've fallen asleep a little bit of the wheel, and Top Esports are punishing them. You cannot afford to do that against opponents the level of Top Esports. Dragon's up in 30 seconds. I would imagine that Top Esports will get that. They get themselves two turrets in one fell swoop. This is a... We've seen this before. Sky's Descent available. BLG moving in to pressure Top Esports under the Baron's ire. He's in the pit here now. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion oh, for a reason. Show. They're going to go for the engage. They got Knight, and the Sky's Descent will come down in the end. Shun's in the pit, but it's way too early. He's going to go in on the Jackie Love. They actually take down Tian, and now they get the double knockback there. Shun can't get any more damage down, though. And because that's a TP, 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 TP. They're going to move out this time, as that's a big flame spitter waiting to come down. He's getting immediately chunked, and maybe we take back his pass to being able to TP into 1v5. On has that Bates call it's used. Oh, Jackie! Jackie Love dies to the Baron. No, he misses the piercing arrow there. As now they're moving forward. They get the Void Rush, and there it is. Three, six, nine, baby, rolling all nines. And he gets himself the thousand gold shutdown. I wonder how many shutdowns he needs to get to top esports. Their macro has been one of the defining factors about this team. They moved to round areas of the maps very well. You see that BLG, they have to keep poking their heads into this Baron and say, are you starting it? Do we have to contest? Are they looking for a fight? They are looking for a fight. They're going to cease and desist right over on a 369. He's tanky, but he ain't that tanky. There's the engage from Tien. A flash out from Elk. The equalizer coming in from Finn. The Breath of Light trying to dissuade any more engage. Mako's almost dead, but On's getting chased down now by Jackie Love. He's going to try to use his leaps, but there's the flash. There's Oh, he auto-attacked the ward! Okay, he finally gets the cash in there as Top Esports will take down one of the damage dealers, the BLG. They see if Top Esports is in drought or in full spring water. They are 5,000 away from burning down this one. It looks like we might flip it soon. Not going to go in the pit just yet. Not going to be denied. Oh, he does get denied. Cream, the man with the difference, has that engage, has that denial for BLG. And now it's Top Esports moving in like the Predators to the prey. The Void Rush comes out for 369 and gets him. And now on the back line he is, but he's all by himself. The Breath of Light comes up clutch for Knight. Knight able to make the difference. And BLG somehow, some way, they're looking to take down Top Esports after 
after the fight went their way. Equalizer's coming up in a few seconds. No They're going to try and snipe another kill. Sundisk coming out. He's not going to get cream. He went for Jackie Love there anyways. Oh, flash forward on. He wants it. He wants to make the difference, and he does. That's so big. Five members from Top Esports are dead. Gigabin, Giga BLG, they take all Baron buffs with it. Top Esports Fox. League with Cream, an up and comer from OMG. We thought so much veterancy would mean that they have the grit to take a five game series here to bring back the reverse sweep, but BLG are rebuffing them at every turn. Swing and a miss on the arrow towards the bot side. Sand gets chunked out here as well. That's the no way He can't get caught. Chains of corruption there. He's dead. Oh, finds him again. It is so hard to survive against the long-range nuke of BLG if you're caught out of position. And this is, again, creeping closer and closer to BLG, getting that map control, which ends games against them. This series means so much to this team. It, of course, it is first seed uh, from the LPL in terms of MSI. It's a championship as well. But for each of these players journeys. done in their previous fights. This is a soul for top of these BLG need to deny it. Tien on the other side of the wall, gonna take the hex gate, gonna go for the engage. He actually finds it. He has the magnet storm on the night. Sky's descent is available, but he's locked down so heavily. Is he gonna get the pull the trigger on? He's gonna use it to try to save his life, but he can't. That's a lot of damage back. Look at on. They are caught though. As top esports again, the fight turned right back on him. We've seen this before, Nightmare. As it's BLG who will not give up the fight so easily. On has that bait's call pulled. Not gonna pull Elk into it, but it's back to the dragon. We go. Oh god. Gosh, you cannot take your eyes off of any member on the back of it. These fights are not front to back. They're all over the place. Dragon's been started up. Top Esports, they're walking in blind. They have the Ren from on. They have the potential. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion for a damn reason. He gets killed. He gets denied. And Top Esports, they are completely dusted. Here comes Cream. He misses the engage, but it actually gets on. Doesn't matter, though. Enchanted Crystal Arrow goes wide. Jackie Love trying to get the damage down now as well. But Flame Spitter, he tries to get the flash from Shun. That's a nice response from Jackie Love. The Panic's coming out clutch. Oh, Mako just about lives. It's not soul for top esports. It's not the... It means that these, again, these old gods of each of their roles, the new blood, can decide it here in the now. Baron started. We've seen this before. Top esports, they want to burn it. They want to take it. Shun can't get in the pit. The Baron gone to Tien. They don't want to take the engage on the back end of it, but they need to start positioning out of this mid lane. Okay, top esports, they claim back some vision. It's an important thing for them. Wide, Mako. Wanting to find the right targets here, but the dragon is up. This is soul and a hex tech soul for top esports. Yeah, you do not want to give that one over, and especially with someone like the Ash as well. It kind of gets that chain. Oh, it's going it's, over. It's going <laughs> over so quickly, though. It's soul, Baron in the last few minutes. Top esports are playing the objective game, and BLG are not getting clean fights. They can't get the damage down. It's going to be a couple ultis down, and Chance Crystal Arrow is still very far from going in. Now Shun is in there, but he gets his GA pop. Equalizer on top. The skies have descended, but can it change for BLG? It looks like top esports are fighting tooth and nail. They get on Spade's call. Meanwhile, Ben's forced out of the fight and they're flashing forward onto the bot lane of BLG. They'll find everybody except for Ben and they'll shove it right up the gut. This is not going to be a clean sweep. This will not be the easy road to a title. Top Esports let out a defiant shout and they will not go quietly into the night. The night is dark and full of terrors, but Top Esports will light the flame that lights the room. And they move on to the last two towers here. They have resurged the three world champions of the experience across the board. We got a series on our hands. What a late game between these two teams. For the most part of that, I thought it was, but it doesn't matter what items he has in there. Just his ability to outplay with the CC, the team fight, the lane with this champion is so big. Against Bins Renekton, in that top lane matchup might actually now be quite fun, specifically because of 369. <laughs> <laughs> big man with the plan. Known Gragas and Jumps. But now, Shun looking for a ah. mark here on the no, team. No, so Tien's just used his smite onto the blue buff, so he can't smite away the Gromp, and that's an all coming oh, in from awesome. They're going to flash. They know he has nothing left, and they want to mark so badly for Shun. He's going to flash. He's going to get it. And that's the first one and first blood for BLG. Oh, no. Jackie Love going to flash. He does get the piercing arrow to the back, but BLG strike first on bot lane. He does. And now, if you get the Gromp here as well, I'm pretty sure that Shun is just about to get his four marks. They're going to use gonna the Nico clone to cancel no the back. Oh, the Piercing arrow doesn't hit, but the hail of arrows does, and Elk gets one. It's the bot side jungle. <laughs> to make her to throw at them, which is a big thing. Actually, <laughs> yeah, that was big. huge at that point. 
So that's a flash Ooh. away from Knight. Here comes on. Oh no, he's completely locked out. Now the Fates Call coming in as well from Jackie Love. They have the Lands Respite there, buying so much sustained time, though Knight will end up falling to Cream. Jackie Love has stepped forward now on and Shun there to back them off. It is a kill given over though. It is, and Knight uh, flashes out of a short range combo. It does get that Lands Respite, but it's not enough to give him complete ability to turn that play around on Aldom's the map. Here comes Oh, Nicole. that Tangle Barb was massive, but he still goes down in the end, and it's, of course, Jackie Love who picks up the kill. Well, if you're not winning in bot lane, move the bot lane somewhere else. That's exactly what happens from top esports. They take Jackie Love and Mako, and they make some huge plays in the mid lane. What is that? The damage from your W and your E as well goes up. Elk, no, no. Spots oh, oh, now, oh. <laughs> That's a big boy right there, Elk. You gotta be careful. He does have his friends, and you know, friends are more powerful than a solo member. They do have the double marksman up here, and 369. He's gonna be rolling some threes here, and he gives over a kill to Elk. Oh, he almost finds the angle. Tien just around the corner, could have done something special, but instead. He also has the flash engage. Find a big pop blossom, makes the difference. Now we have a mark over on Cream. The rest of the team coming in. Dragon started. Bin on the side. He will not be spotted. He has a full on flank. Cream has his. Weaver's wall coming across to deny. They will be blocking them up. They don't have the damage to take the dragon. Yet. Early on that. You get the virus all through. The the crystal. No, no, it's the, cha the chains of corruption. Pop bots of the four members. Oh my goodness. BLG take the dragon here now. No, they want the fight. That's the Emperor's vibe going a bit wide from Knight. Look at Bin though. He has bought enough time for the dragon to go down. And BLG, like they've done all series, will pull off of the fight. Oh, the Varasalt from Elk was absolutely phenomenal. Catches out the jungler unawares. And Cien goes down. Getting close to that second item for Jackie Love. Jackie Love on this cluster. Again, we said it was going to be harder to team fight on the on hit Varus. Uh, not the Varus, the on hit. Uh, I mean, technically, that could go. This is a little temple. Here comes oh, Elk. Shield they're prone. under turret here. There's the body slam. And they're going to take down Elk. The double TP in for BLG. The pop blossom of three members now, though. And what fight did you get? What did it cost you? And as Thanos says, Everything as BLG will be rebuffed by the cask of 369. Bin has made the difference. Oh, Top Esports dive to the BLG now forcing the hand of Top Esports. Here they come to answer. Mako goes in. Nice double grand entrance. Body slam on top of it all. But they have the damage right on to Mako and right on to Cream. Look at the flash from Shun. He wants to be the difference maker. And he's found the Lamb's respite to save the day. He doesn't go down, but honestly, Top East, what's stopping the Baron after losing jungle and AD carry? That's a huge win in my eyes. If they don't end up getting any kills bangle, maybe On finds himself something. He's spotted out now. Basic nine, a little bit of trouble. Use the body slam out of there. Dragon has been started already down about 4,000 health here. Top Esports can use the Weaver's Wall. Block off. Shun is in the back of the pit, though. And Shun will take those all day. No, Tian gets the difference as now he will be burned down, though. He gets a flash out of Bin. Bin's on top of Tian. The cast comes through, but they wanted him the whole time. Cream was left out by his lonesome. And that's going to be the cleanse immediately bought by Jackie Love and trying to get out of that chains of corruption. Oh, the, now they're on the wrong side of the map. Shun walks forward. Top East Oh, was, my God. They're so far from home, and I think they're getting sent back in caskets. My goodness. BLG are chasing down Jackie Love. And they're they're going to even pop the Pop Blossom, because why not? As they will take Top Esports to task here. Shun's looking on the other side. <laughs> trying to chase down the big man. He's got some legs. He's got some moves. Let's see if he can get away. He might. But we have three item spikes for both Knight and Elk. Feels like you just want to take a front-to-back fight and take that ADC. And oh, Chains of goes wide. Oh. Double Pop Blossom there, and they get him. That's a complete wipe. Top Esports have nothing left in the fight, and it's 369 that tries to make the difference with the cast, but it can't. And now on the other side, it's double kill for Shun, and it's BLG running away with it. It's the solo laners. It's the Knight in shining armor that makes the killing blow. A team effort for BLG to turn the series. Calm, cool, and collected. Look at those faces. They have one goal in mind, and it's a first title for BLG. Do you really want to see if they can do that, Tian? He's hanging around the outside of the pick. Can he get in? It would be a difficult one. He has a flash. He has an ult to carry him somewhere. Knight wants to block out the pit, though, and he'll do just that. Denied as the Baron goes over. Now Bin finds the angle over here on the Tian. He might still have it, too, as the burn is starting to come through. Tian ends up backing away, but BLG, they move to topside.
Baron on Fire Darkness there. He just put a random letter in front of his name. <laughs> turned out it turned into something else and something truly legendary as well. This guy has been such a warrior, such a bodyguard for this team. He yeah. has not been the main character in this not. series, but that play there shows exactly why, again, he can make those game-winning moments. Bin as well. Huge shout out to him. Every fight this Renekton has oh, been crucial. Man. And Knight makes the difference again. Shoves him right into the mall of BLG. And our spring MVP is that for a reason. And now with again a few years, they have taken Top Esports down a peg, and now they're on the cusp. Top Esports, they are scrambling. Can they wave clear in time? How far is this going to be pushed by BLG? It's two inhibitors. They're sticking around. They have the five grubs. They are looking to go a little they further. They want it. They want it so bad, Nightmare. They want to finish the game right now. One Nexus turn goes down. The BLG, all they need are a couple more structures, and they are champions. They have built towards this. There Here goes Tien. Tien. Last gasp effort. Can Top Esports, the might, go down? They are done as they lose their main engage. It's one thing. Have they managed to survive? Is the blood enough to buy space? Oh, the flash! Goes they get him! Oh my gosh. BLT, they've done it. They got one. They've got two. They are on the cusp and they've done it. They are on the road and they make it to silver as the Dragon Cup will go their way for a first time in BLG's history. They. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Grand Finals matchup between Top Esports and BLG. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.